Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, guys. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and clean out the chicken coop water. Uh, so let's go ahead. Okay, so when I built my water, I designed it with a catch or a um, clean out valve right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the bucket first. We're going to clean all the shavings out of here first. You don't want any near it because it's... So that my bucket will fit a little bit better. I'm just going to hold the bucket at an angle so if any water's in here, which there is a little bit, it'll go ahead and drain out. Then we're just going to take a wrench, put it on, and unscrew the cap. I'm just going to hold it right here. Out. Now the good thing is there is nothing in there, so that's good. However, I do have a little bit of pine needles and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Odie go turn the water on, <laughs> and we're just going to flush it all that out. I'll get the hose and give it to you, so you don't have to get out. So what I did is I went ahead and put the hose in the other end of the pipe. Now we're going to slowly let some water through it. And it's coming. And there we go. We're just going to flush everything out. And I might go get a stick just in case it doesn't do anything. You know what? Go get me a, a, a good size rag and a stick. Okay. We're going to stop the water flow. Alright, so now all I did is I took a rag and I wrapped around a tomato steak. We're going to go ahead and take this off again. I don't think that the pots fit. Then we're just going to go ahead and stick this down it. No, Lord Farquaad. I think Lord Farquaad's going to jump on. No? Alright, can you give me a... Where's that smaller stick you had? Go grab uh, it. Alright, so this, this tomato stick was good. It got all the way down. But now I need to get the very edge. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this off of the tomato steak. I have two sticks. And actually, I might be able to just do it with my hand here. Oh, yeah. I, this is good enough. I can get it with my hand. I'm just cleaning out the, the part right here where I couldn't get with the tomato steak. There we go. Now we're just going to flush it out one more time. There we go. We got some nice clean water coming in. We're going to clean off the, the stopping valve. Now we can cap it back up. Make sure it's going on smoothly. I 
think if we put it on hand tight, it'll probably be good. So we're just going to start filling it and see if that leaks. And one of the other things we did is if you look right here, you can see the water level filling up. So how it is done is the water inside goes down to here. And once it gets filled, it pushes all the way up here and back into And we do need to tighten it up a little bit <laughs> because it's leaking a little bit here. Now uh, you want to go turn the water off because it's going to start leaking out there. Oh. All right, so that's it. We're going to take our bucket, get rid of it. All right, so for those of you that haven't seen it, the way our chicken coop water works is it's right here. This is where I fill it in. Pull it in from here. As you can see, I, I let it overflow a little bit and we have a little cap here. Whoops. Then we have a little cap here that I just put on like that. And that's it. So that's cleaned out. All right, guys, so that's cleaned out. Thanks for coming along. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, Airport Quad!